Oh my hey. God, Sherelle, how are How's you? How's it going? So good, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How Take a are seat. things? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm making it. Okay. Can't complain. Okay. Can't okay. complain. I see your shirt, Clark Atlanta. I see yours, Grambling State. You know, State. I try to represent anytime I can. Amen. Anytime I can, I try to represent. So tell me a little bit Same. about your Clark Atlanta story. Oh, it's quite a story. <laughs> it's quite a story. I, I think I, all I, HBCUs, they're, it, they're quite a story. I can honestly say that from the beginning, my family was highly invested in making sure that I went to an HBCU. Okay. And more than anything, Clark. My grandfather graduated when it was Clark College. Mm. My grandmother is a graduate of Spelman. Mm -hmm. And several other cousins, uncles, aunts, friends have all been through the Atlanta University Center. Same, same for me, family. Yep. Was a big one. Yep. Um, mom, dad, brother, all tended grandma. Not to mention I was only 30 minutes away from, from the school. Okay. I, I, I absolutely loved the school. But then, you know, I always also wonder, you know, how do you feel the culture, that HBCU culture, how has that translated to Disney? You know, I really think they prepared you mm -hmm. in ways that you don't really realize until you're here. So when you think about the importance of leadership from day one, yep. they're teaching you how to be the best leader, not only in your personal life, but in your professional life. Mm -hmm. um, the importance of networking and you know, having allyship and mentorship and sponsorship, all things that I have learned as a part of that experience and just preparing you in a way that I just don't think you can get at any other institution mm -hmm being a person of color. You know, I also feel, you know, HBCUs are, they're like an exclusive club that you, you're a part of. And so specifically here at Disney, you know, when, I, when I'm able to meet some other HBCU alum, um, you know, it is, it is always all love. It's all love. Uh, and it, it feels like a homecoming mm -hmm. is, is what, it, what it feels like. So. And we know how important homecoming is, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> and, and then there's always the banter about who has the best homecoming. Right. But, um, you know, that, that's one of the biggest things that I, that I recognize when I do meet someone from a, another HBCU. Again, you know, when you think of Disney on the yard, mm -hmm. every HBCU has a yard. Yeah. You know, there's somewhere where students, you know, they congregate, they meet, the band plays, you mm -hmm. know, you hang out, the mm -hmm. Divine Nine have a spot there Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yep. And so, you know, it doesn't matter what HBCU you go to, there's a yard. Uh, and that's what I, that's what, that's, that's the part I love about attending an HBCU, that I, I have this, this it, it, again, like I said earlier, it feels like I'm part of this exclusive club. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the barbershop and the hair salon, mm -hmm, and these mm -hmm. are considered our safe spaces, safe spaces right. right? Right, absolutely. If I were to transition that thought into safe spaces within Disney. Mm -hmm. Where would you say our safe spaces are? Where do you feel safe? Oh, um, I'm gonna I'm I'm reach way back <laughs> real quick. Um, I, I can remember uh, Disney Dreamers Academy. Yes. When we first, we first rolled out DDA, and I don't know if the, 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 those who, who came up with that concept, you know, I know it was more about the kids, mm -hmm. but it organically became a homecoming event. Mm. I've met a lot of people, a lot of black employees that I still know today who I met at DDA. We've all become friends. Mm -hmm. And it almost felt like a, like a standalone Berg. A Pulse Berg, so I'm a member of Pulse Berg. Yep. Um, I feel that that is, that is a safe space for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I'm able to interact with, with, with a lot of the employees there, I totally agree. The Bergs is one of the first places I thought of too. And coming here from LA, I still maintain my membership in the Wakanda Berg nice. uh, on the West Coast. But you know, being here as a part of Pulse is amazing. And I think it's important. Mm. You know, I think it's not only, it feels like a safe space, but it's also a place where you can talk about anything, everything, yep. you know, it's Almost personal. Like the barbershop. It's Oh, they're beautiful. Is. It is. It is. <laughs> and even within some of our individual groups, I mean, I know within DPEP, you know, we've stood up, you know, our brave circles. Mm. Um, we have a soul uh, group as well where we're having soul to soul conversations, you know, and, and having the opportunity to 
really open up in these spaces and bring in the allies. Right. You know, bring in the people Absolutely. who also want to know more and mm -hmm. want to learn more and don't want to sort of be on the periphery. And it's almost like cultural fluency, right? Yes. It's, a, it's an opportunity for us to say, you know, hey, if you want to learn our culture, we are more than welcome to, to share that. And we want, you know, we want to share that. Yeah. So when we think about Disney, mm -hmm. um, you know, oftentimes we're having these conversations around Black History Month. But I really want to transition that away from Black History Month into the 365 space, mm -hmm. which we all are so familiar <laughs> with. How do we make sure that these conversations and mm. these topics mm. and this continues to be an important part of our DNA at Disney? Oh, that, that's... That's an interesting one. You know, I kind of lean on, you know, and I've heard some faculty members at HBCU say this, you know, we, we, we will know what companies truly want our students when they're here four or five years yes. after 2020. Yes. yes. And so I think it is up to, you know, us as black individuals within our company to continue to bring up the, um, the message, I guess, per mm -hmm. se. Uh, consistently, not just during Black History Month, mm -hmm. but every single month, you right. know, and and making sure that, you know, I, I mentioned cultural fluency earlier, making sure that there's always an opportunity for allies to learn about the black community. I agree. Um, so I, I think I think it is, a, to your point, it's a year round um, opportunity uh, for us. What about you? I agree. And I feel like we're getting better every day. Mm -hmm. And I think we are starting to lean more into the 365. I mean, just when I think about the enterprise and everything that we're doing, there's so much there. Mm -hmm. Whether you're talking about Wakanda Forever, you know, a lot of the a lot of the content that you're finding on Hulu, to our new Ariel, mm -hmm. you know, with Halle Bailey, to Disney on the Yard, to uh, Splash to, Mountain. There to Splash re Mountain, Reimagination, re yeah. yeah. Um, to Disney's Dreamers Academy. I mean, there is a lot that is there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that everybody uh, galvanize around it mm -hmm. and push it and make sure that everyone knows about it because right. it is important and absolutely. is a part of who we are. Yep, absolutely. You know, I could go on forever to talk about, sure. talk about my experience, what I learned. Uh, and I do enjoy that because, you know, it, there's this understanding that, okay, this, this person really wants to understand what it was like attending an HBC or what it's like, you know, being being black in America, mm -hmm. you know? And so it always gives me a sense of pride when I'm able to, you know, provide that perspective. I agree. Uh, for somebody. So um, it's I, all about perspective. You know, I think I'm a I think I'm gonna start going around now and when somebody does ask that it'd be my barbershop moment. There it is. What, I think that's what I'm a That's the continuation that's of this, right? <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna call it. More my barbershop, barbershop moments. moments. There you go. I, like I love it. it. I like it.